Right, Donners, you've signed on again. <laughs> How did you get Jenny to pass that one off? <laughs> hey, I promise you that was the biggest problem. Well, not problem, but the most difficult bit, I suppose. For me, I'm, you know the way, I love coming to training. I love it. I'm blessed to do a job I love and togging out means everything to me. And it's just trying to get the balance right on, on, the, on the family life. So um, Jen's been quite understanding. I, I don't think she's absolutely over the moon, but she doesn't want me to be uh, resent and not uh, keep going and stuff. So I'm loving playing and she's there. If you are, keep going then, you know, and she knows that I love it over here and that I enjoy being around the lads. And if she hears me go on about the facility one more time about how I love going into the cryo <laughs> and getting rubbed you straight after the training. So, yeah, she's, um, yeah, but look, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited, you know better than anyone, I think, as a group, we said we, you know, wanted to stay up in, in the first year that I signed on and in the second year we wanted to push on as a squad and I don't believe we've done that, I think we've probably been disappointing within that, so for me to have another opportunity to be around the squad in the year that we kick on and do something special, I would love it. Yeah, so. absolutely, and I mean... Obviously, your body, you're still fit, fit and healthy, and that's obviously a big, well, <laughs> yeah. your brilliant faces. You're still fit, you're still healthy, you're one of the best professionals at the club, and, and that probably must add to the, to the decision, because you know you can still contribute. Yeah, that's it. i would be honest, if I thought I w wouldn't have been of use or couldn't put it out on a, a Saturday, mm. I'd put my hand up and walk away. But, you know, obviously, the, of the end of season niggles where you have bangs and knocks, yeah. but my my body's good and I've been lucky, you know, just to be a wrong fella. Like I remember when I was younger, Jim Williams, mm -hmm. and he used to always say, "Your body's your business." Mm -hmm. So like your body's your tool. It's your it's what you have to look after to be right mm -hmm. to do your job. And I suppose being here and having access to such incredible facilities for helping you to stay right and be right. So my body does feel really good, and you know. Mentally, I'm still really up for it, and I'm, I want to push on. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, body's good, and uh, although some of the lads wouldn't have totally agree. <laughs> well, that's all right. <laughs> they think it's like the last 20 minutes of Marley and me. They're like, just put them down. No, yeah. So I reckon, you know, we've we've obviously got two games left in the season, and, and we want to finish off with a bit of a statement, and and it's important to do that before we go into the start of next year as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I suppose. Look, if you look at even. This season, not not picking something up on the road has been mm. usually disappointing. But the Premiership's tough. Everyone's hard to play away from home, so um, you can see where that kind of happens. But uh, I think we need to push on and, and and be a team that can kind of go out and uh, compete in in other places. Because you've seen that over the last few months, six ways has been brilliant. And if we can encourage and and push that on to be a real fortress next season, that would be great. And um, I suppose, yeah, uh, it would be easy to knock off now in the last two matches, but I think it's a selfish point of view to actually to see how good we can can be and was it just chat that we really want to push on. It's been it's been very noticeable, you know, having watched the games that you've got a great relationship with fans. What do you think about that? I think as a player you have to you have to give them something to cheer and get behind mm. and I think we've done that in the last few weeks. Whereas I think they can see when you're going through the motions as well. And I, like, I honestly think the crowd reflects your performance. Mm. And we've given them something to really get behind us in yeah. the last few weeks. And I think it's a barometer for us as players to know that yeah. we can have them hopping if we go out and really put it in. And yeah. they're no different, you know. Like, all they want to see is that you care and that you're willing to give it everything. And mm. I think that's, uh, that's a, it's a great thing. And, I think a big thing for me is you're starting to get to know them. When mm -hmm. I came in first, I didn't really know a whole lot of the supporters, but yeah. it's an awful lot of the same faces you see every week Absolutely. and you see around Worcester and that you get to know. So I think I'm um, kind of getting to that place where we're all starting to be a little bit more familiar with the crowd as mm -hmm. well and know, know each other better. Thanks for watching and we're looking forward to seeing you up in Newcastle. <laughs>